Hello everyone, today I want to talk about something I believe I haven't done so far on this channel and it is kind of advocating for constellations. Yes, it might sound kind of weird coming from someone who is very much in the pre-to-play camp when it comes to gacha games, but I don't believe there's a reason to pretend that they don't exist, especially over three years into the game, where even free-to-play players can pick them up naturally, whether they save Primo Gems for a particular banner, or they just pick up one copy each time a rerun comes around. And in my case, I picked up Kazuo SE2 the last time this banner came around, and since it is back now, I think now is a good time to cover the subject. First of all, I also realized that this might indirectly also advocate for whaling, but this is not my intention. Of course, I can't tell anybody what to spend their money on and how much, but I feel like a lot of spending is done impulsively when it comes to gacha, so if you come away from this video thinking that you absolutely need this, just do yourself a favor. Like, take a day, sleep, or sleep one night over it, and the next day, if you still feel like you need this, sure, go for it. Hopefully by then you have thought about it long enough that you don't do anything that you will regret sometime down the line. Anyway, what does C2 Kazuha actually do? It gives a 200 elemental mastery buff to characters who are inside Kazuha's burst skill, and it's only Kazuha himself and the on-field character. This is great because first of all, Kazuha himself benefits greatly from elemental mastery. It is for his own elemental damage buff. It's basically 20% off because usually you need 1000 elemental mastery for the full 40%. With this, you only need 800. And then next, the 200 elemental mastery for the on-field character is if you think about it, basically a Nahida burst kill built in from this constellation, which is kind of crazy, but it is just that good. And the last line of text here is just, if Kazu himself is on field and standing in his elemental burst skill, he won't get 400 elemental mastery, only 200. I don't think that's uh, really a big deal. I don't think it affects him very much unless you have C6 where he can be played on field with the Animo infusion. Anyway, now just quickly to show his build, it's very much heavy elemental mastery focused. I am even a little bit over capped with 850, you only need 800 like I said, and 150 energy recharge seems good enough for a C1 Kazuo. Next weapon, Iron Sting for the extra elemental mastery and obviously the Viridescent set for the resistance shred. I picked an Anemo Cup over a crit or crit damage um, uh, like helmet or whatever it is because I felt like my crit crit damage ratio is pretty balanced right now. Now let me quickly just do a little showcase. I just do the first of his 12 fights. It also just reset literally, literally like two hours ago or something or one hour ago. So I guess I just do a quicken team. I guess that's good enough to showcase some elemental mastery scaling. Also Nahida obviously benefits from elemental mastery and Zhongli here for the shield and double resistance shred. I think the first orb enemies have some dendro resistance, so it's not the best team ever here, but it's fine. I also get some burning here, which also scales great with elemental mastery, obviously. Do some charge attacks with the Nahida as full on. We summon us and do Kazuo's thing again. We summon Nahida's burst while while this thing dies and I hope I hit them. Yep. <laughs> I like to petrify them in the beginning because they are just dashing around a lot. Hopefully the second one comes in range. Nope, of course not. There we go. <laughs> So they have burning again. Again, I don't think it's terrible, but obviously it's oh, it's better if you have a melt a burn team. Otherwise, burning isn't the craziest status effect. <laughs> Do a charge attack here and then the thousand as well. Nahidas, and they should be about dead. Not a charge attack here. Oh, one got out. Can 
you saw at the end there, his energy wasn't quite back. So in the long run, he will not be good enough on 150 energy, but usually it's good enough if if you have enough damage in your team, which is the case with this constellation. Anyway, I believe that's probably the last video I make before Alekino releases, so stay tuned for videos about her. Until then, have fun and bye bye.